guys, Joe Sway, back again with another video. So I want to show you guys my setup on Android, my setup on my Moto Z uh, Verizon Edition. Well, yeah, the Moto Z, Moto Z Droid. So the Moto Z Droid is now on 7.1.1.1, so you would think I would keep that launcher because it does have the pixel-like launcher now. At least I think it does, unless it's because I had it installed prior, but I believe it should come with it. Um, but that has the Google Now Launcher on the back, you know, on the side, and allows you to rotate the screen, uh, which you can do as well on this. I'll actually I'll do that in the video here. But I'm actually using Nova Launcher. That's my favorite launcher on Android. I pay for the full version for the extra benefits, but it allows you to do so much. You can edit the icons, which I haven't. I've al I've al allowed the um, stock icons to stay here, but whenever I want to, I can change the icons. And, um, you know, you can change the grid, how many apps you want. You can change the icon sizes. It's like it's a fully, there's different gestures that you can use, you know, from switching from screen to screen. Um, you can change how the, this looks at your, per, your persistent search bar. You can take it out if you want. You know, you can edit this. You can you can make it look like a pixel launcher, or you can go back in time, make it look like the KitKat launcher if you want. So there's plenty of benefits to this. And I'll show you the gestures real quick. So some of the gestures I have, like if I swipe up, that brings me to like the app search. And I can search anything. And I'll go into more into this later because there's a lot. There's something else they added real quick. Hint, the Sesame Shortcuts. I'll show that later. But yeah, I can just search any app from right here, which is really nice for me. Also, too, if I do this, that'll bring me right to my apps. Or I can just, as usual, swipe up from here. Whichever one's easier. Um, doing this will actually bring me to my settings, to my um, Nova settings. But uh, real quick, I want to show some of the other ones I have. I have the uh, double tap swipe up will bring me to my like Google, my Google search, my Google um, app. Eat a plant-based diet, guys. It will save your life. Uh, check out the movie What the Health. I love spreading veganism. That's my thing. Uh, so veganism, love. All that good stuff. Um, another gesture I have, if I do this, actually it will open my um, Timely, my alarm clock. So when I'm ready to set my alarm. I love Timely because it just gives me, it has beautiful sounds. So I don't want to wake up to something that sounds annoying. This has beautiful ambient sounds. So it's one of my favorite launchers. And it works on multiple Android devices. So if you have multiple phones or you have a phone and a tablet, you can install this app. And it synchronizes your alarms. And of course it has a timer and all that good stuff as well. And if I do it the other way, uh, oops, I'll actually launch my camera. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's many options when you tap on the apps here. You app info, padding, resize, remove, and all the shortcuts that you have on, you know, that you have on um, the Pixel Launcher are here. So message, I tap that, I can start a new conversation. If I tap on Google Photos, I get I'm feeling lucky, free up space. Um, you know, tap on take hangouts you get some voice call video call chat and then um, yeah so you get all these shortcuts and there is a way to add even more shortcuts to some apps the ones that support it and I'll show you that later as well but I'll show you how to get to the gestures so to get to the gestures all you actually do you can just do you can do this that brings you to your novel settings. as you can see so much you can edit desktop app and widget drawers dock folders look and feel night mode gestures and inputs and that's where you See what all that you can do: swipe up, swipe down, double tap. Which I don't have that set up yet, but you can do whatever you want. Double tap, swipe down, swipe up two fingers, pinch in. Oh, yeah, I didn't show that. Yeah, pinch in. Oh, okay. Gotta enable that real quick. But that brings me to my recents, and pinch out just kind of does that but you can edit these you can make them do whatever you want and there's all the gestures there and sesame shortcuts is what I was going to show you guys earlier so this one is actually pretty awesome this is new that they just added but when you swipe up let's say I wanted to like message my friend real quick um, Kelly I would just I put stop typing her name here and I can just like message her and I can go you know start doing it with, with messages but um Normally, this is an app search, so this works as an app search, which shows you my new and updated apps. But so I can also search for apps. I just want to go to Google Keep. I can go there as well. But I can do like a new note, a new list. So like it's really nice that it gives you that. So if I want to search for contact, and I can also do contact, add contact. So it just gives you many, many shortcuts. And if anything else, 
let's say you're in the restaurant and you want to do a tip real quick, you can actually just put a tip in Google Tip Calculator, and it'll bring you right to the Tip Calculator on Google. So it's kind of cool. There's a lot of a lot of things you can do with this, and if you go into the um, the Sesame Shortcuts app, you can add more shortcuts depending on the apps. Not all apps support it. I wish Instagram would support it. But the ones that do, you can add new ones as well. So like for Google Play Music, for instance, which I have over here, when I tap that, I added a Moana. <laughs> added a Moana shortcut. So when I hit that, it just searches Moana on Google. And I can go straight to the album if I want to, just like that. So, and you know, you and you can add playlists and everything to it. So that's dope, I think. And it makes, like, Nova Launcher a no-brainer to add to your phone because it just does so much. I'm not even done yet. Like, you can also do more on the apps here as well so you swipe up on this app and actually opens a folder but it doesn't look like a folder so I like my phones to look very nice and clean so even though it doesn't look like this much going on here but there's so much going on here so I have all my social apps there I have my games here and I have some apps here and then and you can also do the same for the for these here so you can minimize the apps that you have down here so for instance if I tap this it'll bring me to my phone but um, if I swipe up on it, it'll bring me to my contacts. And for messages, I have the same thing. If I tap it, it'll bring me my messages. If I swipe up, it'll actually bring me to WhatsApp. So you can do that as well for the icons. You can either make them a folder or you can make them a, a secondary app if you wish. So and let's go back to the settings real quick. So you have night mode, notification badges, which I think I have it on. Maybe not. Actually, no, I think I have to turn it on. Just uh, we'll do a dynamic oh, dots. Okay, dots. Okay. So as you can see, the dots have appeared here for notification badges. And you can switch them, you can go to the old version as well. It's just very versatile. And we'll keep going down. You, and you can also, if you have a setup and you really like it, you can back it up. And you can back it up to Google Drive, I believe, as well. Or back it up wherever you want. So that way when you get to a new phone, you can keep your same backup. And yeah, you go. And so this is like my favorite launcher. I love it. It just gives me so much versatility. I think it makes Android so much better. I've been using Nova Launcher for a long, long time, and I highly recommend it to, to really anyone. There are other great launchers out there, like the Pixel Launcher, if you want just simplicity. And if you want, um, there's also the Action Launcher, which I've tried. I like it, but it doesn't seem to run as fluid as the Nova Launcher does, in my opinion. So I've stuck with the Nova Launcher for quite a bit now. And, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And you can even edit the um, the status bar. You can make those dark if you want. And so, other than that, really, I like these are the apps that I usually keep on my phone. And it makes my phone a lot simpler to use. One of the reasons why I can never go to an iPhone because I cannot have this type of simplicity, beauty, and customizability to really tailor Android to how I like. You know that I can do on. On this, I think it's if I look up the camera. I wonder if it'll let me launch the camera from there. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's really dope, especially with the Sesame Shortcuts. I think it adds more versatility to it as well. Let's see if I missed anything else. Folders, look at feel. Yeah, I think I went over pretty much everything that kind of makes Nova Launcher really dope. And you can also edit individual icons if you want. As you can see, that's where you can do the swipe up to folder, or you can. Um, in tap action first item in folder and there's just so much you can do <laughs> and you can also edit the icons right there you can edit the icons individually and you can make your own icons as well so it's like it's, it's a no-brainer to me one of the my highly most recommended app to have on your phone is Novo Launcher but Novo Launcher Prime get all the benefits sometimes it goes on sale but even at five bucks I would say it's worth it because they update the apps frequently and I'm also part of the beta so I get to test out their new features early on and I rarely ever have any issues with it crashing down or anything like that so definitely a must have on any Android phone I'll say there's no launcher that beats this whatsoever no matter what the only downside is that there's no Google uh, launcher to the side but you know you, you can have your little shortcuts to get there it's not as nice as the pixel launcher but you know 
I'll take that little downside compared to all the positives that I get from Nova Launcher and of course whatever else they will add in the future as well. So that's my video for the day. Let me know if you guys like it. If you do, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And also, what's your favorite launcher? Why do you like it? Hit me up in the comment section below.